Hey, thanks for joining me. Are you ever working on a map that uses a projection where the international dateline has like a zipper running right up the middle of your map and it's so super annoying? Like this map, for example, of Antarctica. I've got this international dateline seam and it's running right up the middle of Antarctica and it's so annoying. But that's because this data is actually living in a geographic coordinate system. It was created in a geographic coordinate system and it's being reprojected helpfully on the fly in this South Pole orthographic projection. Now it's cool that it's even doing this. So it's not entirely crazy that we have a seam here because if we look at it in its native projection, this geographic coordinate system, there's actually an edge here and here, and we're just wrapping it around. And so you see this split. Same goes with this little blip in far Eastern Russia, where it cuts over the international dateline. When you put it in a projected coordinate system, you get some issues. So one hack, the main hack, if you wanna just get rid of it without having to deal with, you know, saving data or modifying your data, you can go into the structure and simply drag your stroke underneath your fill. And you might have to ensure that this is slightly wider because it's gonna be covered up halfway by your fill. But anyways, when you hit apply, now it's rendering underneath this fill. This fill essentially covers up this troublesome zipper, which is here. It's still there. It's just being covered up by my fill symbol layer. Okay, that's the main hack. The half hack is, well, some people don't necessarily like um, playing with the structure and dragging and you just wanna, I don't know why. Um, so let's reset this to a more default perspective. You can make a copy of your layer, paste it, and for the bottom most version of your layer, just uncheck the fill or leave it checked. And the topmost layer, uncheck your stroke. It's essentially the same thing as doing the right thing and going in here and just dragging this underneath, but you're using layers instead of symbol layers. Same result, same result. How do we actually fix this crazy thing? I'll show you. We'll actually reproject this layer into a projected coordinate system. So we'll go into the analysis tab, open tools, and we'll look for the tool called project. We'll point to our layer, give it an output location. And for the coordinate system, we'll choose the coordinate system of our current map, polar orthographic projection. Okay, this is completed, and now I'm gonna add it to my map. Okay, here it is, land projected. I can turn off my old version. Now, you'll notice I haven't fixed it. That's because it still has that vector node telling it to draw this seam at the South Pole. Now we can just dig in and edit this shape, deleting that node. I'm selecting the node and hitting the delete key. There's two of them. Now you'll notice it's gone. I'll accept this and I'll save it. So here is Antarctica without the zipper. Now here's a bonus tip. If you wanna steal this layer's symbology for the new projected layer, just open up the new layer and go back to the home state of the symbology panel. And in this menu, choose import symbology 
and just point to the version that you've already styled up and hit run. Now it'll look just like your other one. And it still won't have the zipper. There you go, that's how you do it.